How to unlock the bootloader on your Google Pixel 6a. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock the bootloader on your Google Pixel 6a. Now do note that unlocking the bootloader means you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because unlocking the bootloader is going to perform a factory reset on your Google Pixel 6a. So make sure you do have a backup of all your data and any other important stuff which you have on your device. Other than that, you will need access to a computer with an active internet connection. And no, unfortunately, this cannot be done without access to a computer or access to another phone, which will let you push out fast boot commands to your device. Of course, drivers also need to be installed if you're using a Windows computer. All the relevant links, all the relevant videos can be found in the description of the video. And another super important thing to note over here is that if you have a Verizon owned or if you got your Pixel 6a from Verizon, then Verizon devices do not allow you to be bootloader unlocked. So here it is. This is the Google Pixel 6a. The first thing we need to do before we unlock the bootloader on the Google Pixel 6a is to enable OEM unlocking. So for that, you will go into settings and then you will go into about phone. Now, once you're in the about phone page, you need to scroll down all the way. And here you need to tap on the build number seven times. It will ask for your pin if you have one set up and then we are going to enter our pin. And at this point, it gave us a toast notification that you are now a developer. So then we can go back and on the main page of settings, you will go into system. Now, once you are in system, you will notice you have a new option called developer options. Go into this and as you can see, OEM unlocking right now is disabled. So we need to enable this option and it is asking for my pin. One more time, we are going to enter that. And as you can see, it is telling me device protection features will not work on this device while this setting is turned on. So we are going to say enable. Then we can go back go back into developer options and just double check that the option or the toggle is enabled in case you are not able to enable this toggle then either you have a Verizon based Google Pixel 6a in which case you cannot unlock the bootloader or you are on an older security patch which means you have to update to the latest security patch now those of you who are on an older security patch I do have a video on how to enable this grayed out OEM unlocking toggle and that video can be found in the description of this video. The next thing we need to do is we need to boot our Google Pixel 6a into fast boot or bootloader mode. Now to do that press and hold the power button to turn off your device or if you're not getting the power menu by pressing and holding the power button you can always access your quick settings panel and then try to access the power menu here and select restart and as soon as the screen goes black we are going to press and hold volume down so the screen went black we are holding and pressing volume down and this is going to ensure that we boot into fast boot mode so here it is this is how fast boot mode looks like and as you can see right now my device state says locked that means that the bootloader on this device is locked next thing we need to do is we need to connect our phone to the computer using a USB type C cable and once we do that the next steps are going to be on the computer so here it is we are on the computer first thing we need to do is we need to download adb and fast boot now as i mentioned at the beginning of the video all the links are in the description of this video and right now we are on the official android developer website once we are over here then you need to download adb and fast boot for your specific variant of the operating system so this sdk platform tools for windows mac or Linux. Once you download this, it is going to be a zip file. The next thing we need to do is we need to unzip this file. Now, I am using WinRAR to unzip the file. You can use any software which you want to. So I will right click on the file and I'm going to say open over here because WinRAR is installed and then I'm going to say I do not want to buy the license right now. Let us say extract to 
and this here is the path so it is going to extract it in the same folder and over here i will select okay now once the extract process has finished successfully you will notice you have a folder with the same name if you go inside this folder you will have another folder and if you go inside that folder here and you have your adb and here and you should also have fast boot the next thing we need to do is we need to open command prompt if you are using windows in this specific path or if you are using mac os or linux then you need to open terminal so for windows all you need to do is while you are inside the folder tap on the address bar make sure everything is highlighted and then type in cmd and press the enter key this is going to open a command prompt window within this very specific folder now once we are in command prompt first thing we need to do is check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not now the command for that is fast boot space devices if you are using mac or linux you will have to enter dot slash before the command and then we are going to press the enter key so there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode what if your device is not being detected in fast boot mode that means you do not have the drivers installed and video on how to install the drivers can be found in the description of this video next thing we have to do is we have to unlock the bootloader so the command for that is fast boot space flashing space unlock and as always if you're using mac and linux you will have to enter dot slash before the fast boot command so again the command is fast boot space flashing space unlock now as soon as you press the enter key the phone is going to change its display and for the other steps you'll have to confirm the process of unlocking the bootloader on the phone let us press the enter key over here and as you can see the phone switched over now i have the option of do not unlock bootloader and if i press the volume rockers i can switch between the options so pressing volume down or you can also press volume up you have to select unlock the bootloader and then to select the option you have to press the power button so here it is i'm going to press the power button to unlock the bootloader and that's it the bootloader has now been unlocked how do you know you see this device state over here this says unlocked now what do you need to do next press the power button one more time to restart your device and at this point you can also disconnect your phone from the computer as you can see we are getting a message that the bootloader is unlocked and the software integrity cannot be verified and there it is we have successfully unlocked the bootloader on our google pixel 6a and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you